Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. If this sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button, and if you're new here, welcome, and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Today we're going to explore the gameplay of The Tenant, so let's dive in. We still have a $250,000 bank loan that we have to pay off. We need $40,982 to pay off the bank loan early. We have $52,000 thousand one hundred and fifty one dollars of personal cash we have more than enough money to pay off our bank loan early let us do that are you sure you want to pay forty thousand nine hundred and eighty two dollars to pay off the entire bank loan yes i do we have charged and collected a total of forty thousand nine hundred and eighty two dollars to cover the debt of one of your active loans thank you for paying it off early it's a pleasure working with you we need to reach a monthly cash flow of eight thousand dollars in our playing for high stakes to achieve we are now at seven thousand nine hundred and three dollars so what was keeping us back was our bank loan in our last episode we remodeled an apartment for a person who liked film let's take a look at the review hater solomon of prospect street 188 we got five stars i couldn't believe my eyes it's like smitty replaced the door with a portal to a different world astonishing here's a tip for good work required furnishings we got five stars preferred furnishings we got five stars floors we got five stars walls we got five stars Prestige, we got 5 stars. First impression, 5 stars. We get a bonus of $1,890 for a total payout of $11,340. We lost two of our tenants at our St. Lucia Street apartment. Let's head on over there and have an open house. We are going to research Sha Sean Ponce. And for some strange reason, we cannot have an open house at this flat. And I do not know why. So uh, let me exit the game for a minute. We're going to have an open house while Sean is at work. We're going to advertise in the radio, and we're going to start the event. So here is the first person who's come to the open house. His name is Ted Raymond. Ted Raymond likes business things. So Ted Raymond's looking at this hood on over the stove, and he thinks he likes it. He thinks it's good. Let's do a background check on Ted. We had, uh, who's this? This is Sean Ponce. Sean Ponce is back from work. And there's a lady coming in. Her name is Tonia Garner. She likes cottage and basic. Background check on Ted Raymond. He has no... No criminal history and no debt. Let's do a tenancy check on him. He thinks the flat is good. Ted Raymond has an excellent tenancy, so let's negotiate with Ted Raymond. Let's negotiate for 120 days with him. Uh, let us try to get $4,350. Way too much. $1,440. So we'll lower it to $3,840. He says $2,530. Let's uh, lower it a little bit to $3,560. He says, is this the best you can do? $2,850. $90. Let's lower it to $3,400. He says $3,070. We'll accept that current offer. We replaced one of the two tenants we lost. Let us try to get the second tenant in here. Antonia Gardner likes this place. She thinks it's good. Let's do a background check on Antonia Gardner. Antonia Gardner has no criminal record and no debt. Let's do a tenancy history check on Antonia Gardner. Antonia Gardner's background, a tenancy check. She has no tenancy history. Let us take a look at uh, this lady over here, Julia Yates. Julia Yates likes the military. She doesn't like fitness. She thinks this flat is fine. You know what? I might take a chance with Antonia Gardner. She thinks this place is exceptional. Let's negotiate with her. Let's try 120 days. Yeah, she loves something in this room. We'll ask 4260 We'll make that offer. She says way too much. $1,480. Uh, Sean Ponce likes casual games. Let's try $4,080. She is having the larger room. She says way too much. $2,590. Let's lower it a little bit to $3,860. let us make that offer. She says almost there, but not quite yet. $2,960. Let's lower it to $3,700. Let's make that offer. She says $3,140. Let's accept her current offer. We now have two tenants back in our St. Lucia Street apartment. We have achieved our playing for high stakes. Finally, we have unlocked some new items. We've unlocked the weeb set. Specialized set of items for the true weebo. Good news, I finally managed to convince those crooks from the city council. First things first, let's Let's go to the Agents app. Agents. Agents take care of your business in given districts while you're working somewhere else. They earn a daily fee that is deducted from your earnings from a given district, making sure that your tenants pay their rent on time and more. Keep in mind that some agents might be better at some aspects than others.
others. Here's the agent apps. We could hire someone, but we're not going to do that right now. Ted Raymond says, Hello there, Smitty. As we agreed, reaching out to you to let you know that everything is going well. You can use this number if there's any issues. Regards, Ted Raymond. And Antonia Garner says, Good day, Smitty. I hope this message finds you well. Thanks once again for the opportunity. I just moved in and everything's looking great. Have a blessed day, Antonia Garner. Harold Moss says, Heat has stopped working. He's literally starting to freeze. Could I do something about it? I'm going to send in a pro. Now sign in any agent you deem worthy. I'll explain why we're doing this later on. Harold Moss says, thanks, I can walk around the apartment without a scarf. Okay, let's hire an agent. This guy has salesmanship, but he's got no empathy. Abby Richardson, the lawyer. Her daily rate is $56. Her revenue share is 8.3. She looks really good. Uh, she's diligent and has good salesmanship. So I want someone with high, higher salesmanship and high diligence. I like Abby Richardson. Let's hire her. Right, we have un unlocked some districts. Wondersville is divided into three districts. To be allowed to do business in a given district, first you need to obtain an agent's license. You can switch between unlocked districts as long as you have an agent associated to your current district. Now simply we select the suburbs district and let's see what awaits us there. Okay, so we're going off to the suburbs district. Well, this place looks pretty cool. I haven't been here in ages. I'll just leave you for a while, so feel free to look around and do some jobs here. I'll be back. Keep in mind that you can always switch between districts by clicking on the city map button. New items unlock garden. A perfect start started to arrange a nice garden your neighbors will be envious of. And we have unlocked garage. A set of items for a handyman longing to spend their evenings in dark lit garage. We also get a skill point for our tree. We could take classical movies. We could take something for Uncle Steve. Master cleaner increases cleaning speed by 25%. Expert jogger increases Uncle Steve walking speed by 20%. I'm gonna do the cleaning. We're gonna unlock that skill. Let's take a look at our jobs. We could take this elite contract at Candy Road 111. My kids want to turn their little treehouse into a playground. Requirements, playground makeover, budget $7,750. Focus on preferred furniture and first impression. Don't mind prestige. We would get paid $8,150 to accept that job. That'll be our first job here in the suburbs. Let's head on over to Candy Road. Here we are at Candy Road 111. Let's begin the renovation. Ho ho, who's this? Oh right, I've been waiting for you as I mentioned in the job listing. I need you to finish the treehouse for my kids as the weather seems to be clearing up. They want to have their own private playground in here and I'm no good with hardware tools but I do know what fun looks like. Let me show you what I want and you do your magic. Oh and one more thing. We're not on the best of terms with our neighbors so could you mind the noise? Don't want them kicking up a fuss about it. Some reason they don't appreciate people having fun. Imagine, huh? We're gonna send Uncle Steve in to begin the cleaning. Uncle Steve, come on in here and try to restore this slide. Try to clean that up. Try to repair this climbing wall. Try to restore that. Try to restore whatever that is. Clean that up. I did a treehouse renovation job last season and I don't believe you could actually go out on the balcony. Okay, Uncle Steve, sell that beanbag and head on out. He wants us to focus on the preferred furnishings and the first impression. He dislikes rustic, he likes contemporary and gaming. He wants a hardwood floor in here. So let's take a look at the hardwood floors. So we want gaming and contemporary. We'll do this pine tavern floor. We'll do this golden yellow wall. We want, he wants a wall shelf. This one was provided by the client. It takes a lot of space. Can we do a contemporary wall shelf outside? Will it let us put things on the walls out here? It will. So we'll put a contemporary wall shelf right there and a contemporary wall shelf right there there. I wonder if we can change... What, what? What? Why can't you do that? I'm gonna change the color variant. Put this uh, contemporary wall shelf right there. So we get some temporary wall shelves outside. Wait, it's telling me what? It's a wall shelf. Okay, so that's not counting. Let's move it inside. Is it counting there? It does. We only need one. We need wall decor. Put that right there. Can I move this over here? Can I move this calendar right there? Will it fit on the wall? It will. Look at the tiny little wall. The slide outside doesn't count. The slide has to be inside. I'll move the slide inside. We need a table. We're going to use this T-bone table. Put that right there. We need a chess board. We'll put that right there. We need a game board. That's a game board stack. Does it count? Doesn't say that we need any sort of chairs over here. Move the slide. I'll put the slide right there. What are you complaining about? Something's blocking the path. Move this over here. The foosball table in here, which they call a football table. We will put that right there. Okay, I'm going to put the slide right here. Nothing's blocking it. I'm moving the foosball table over here. Nothing's blocking it. We need darts. I'm going to move the radiator. I'll put the 
dark board right there. Uh, w what's blocking it? Slide? Slide is, is not being cooperative. We need two posters. Put the hug me poster right over here. Uh, we need one more poster with these zombie muffins. There we go. We have met all the requirements, but the design of our f our place is uh, not that great. I'll move that right there, and I will move the slide over here. Looks like the lease is of one of your tenants, Anya McLean. Current rent $1,428. It's feeling rather, mm, it's coming to an end. Uh, do you want me to try to negotiate an extension on your behalf? Yeah, do it. Right, driving on over right now, as we speak. The rent that Anya McLean is currently paying is $1,428. Let's see if this agent gets that or better. The prestige of the playground is D out of B. They don't care about the prestige, but I do. So what can we put in here that might improve the rating of this place. Let's put this Rubik's Cube on the table. Oh, she got more money for me. Okay, looks like we got an extension of 120 days. The new rent is $1,528. So I'm just looking for things that uh, that could improve our rating in here. Can I change the color variant on this? What do we got? Abby Richardson says, looks like the lease of one of your tenants, Emma Bach, current rent, 1,040, is feeling rather meh, is coming to an end. Do you want me to try to negotiate an extension on your behalf yet? Yeah, do it. So Emma Buck is currently paying 1,040. She says, right on, driving down there to see them as we speak. We should probably put some sort of light in this place. It's rather dark in here. Just looking to see if there's any wall lamps we can put in here. Because I wouldn't want these kids playing in the dark. Let's put this light right there. And we can put a light on this side as well. Let's put this contemporary clock because, you know, the parents are going to be like, I want you home by blah blah blah. We got that up there. We're still a D out of a B. And Abby Richardson says, oh, looks like she lost some rent. Okay, looks like we got an extension for 120. The new rent is $991. So the rent went down. Not thrilled about that. And let's put uh, something for their shoes in here. We'll put the little shoe thing right there. Uh, what's it say? It needs to be near a coat rack. It doesn't need to be near anything. It doesn't need to be near anything. I say it's near. Move the shoe rack over here. I'm gonna put this classical coat rack right over this. We'll change the color to a red color. We are still a D out of B. I'm going to deliver the job. So what do you think of the place? Enjoying yourself? Anyhow, don't think that we got a license for free. May's got quite a nice villa, I have to say. Garden, however, first off, we'll need to clean it up, so let's go. We're not doing that. Tiger is looking around, and he likes the foosball table. He loves it, actually. He's looking at the, the games. He loves them. He's looking at the coat rack. And he loves that as well. He's looking at the overall design of the playground treehouse. And he just loves it. And he's giving us his review. New and unique items unlocked for the kids' playground contract. Beat this elite contract three times and unlock all the items. Let's take a look at the review that the tiger left us. Mr. Tiger, Candy Road 111, gave us five stars. Ancient Smitty is the one you can trust. It's like Smitty replaced the door with a portal to a different world. Astonishing. Some extra cash for extra work. Quiet furnishing, we got five stars. Preferred furnishing, we got five stars. Floors, we got five stars. Walls, we got five stars. Prestige. We got three stars, but the category was ignored. First impression was five stars. Bonus on that job was $1,630 for a total payout of $9,780. Now, Uncle Steve is pestering us to go do a renovation for the mayor. But I think I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Cricket House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow Smitty on his journey to create his landlord empire. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.